The Midwinter Waterfall Survey was first started in 1935 and is now considered the longest running large scale wildlife survey for migratory birds in North America. It's certainly a very long running survey and it's a cooperative survey run with state and federal wildlife agencies all across North America. So very broad, uh, run all the way from the Dakotas down into Texas. Sometimes parts of Mexico are also run. In January in North Dakota, there's not usually a lot of open water. We typically run the survey with uh, one or two airplanes in North Dakota. Uh, we always fly the Missouri River and if Lake Sakakawea is open, we'll fly the lake in addition to the river. We try to do them on the same day also so that we're making sure we're not double counting birds. All across the country folks are doing a variety of ground counts and airplane or sometimes even helicopter surveys too. Szymanski said the number of waterfall counted this year was probably a bit higher than expected. We actually had a surprisingly large number of geese uh, using the river, Lake Sakakawea was frozen over. Uh, we counted Nelson Lake also, but we had, uh, you know, we're, we're probably in that 135,000 range on Canada geese, which is uh, certainly a, a fairly high number. It's not uh, by any stretch of the imagination one of our highest numbers. Szymanski said the week leading up to the survey was very cold, but without much snow, many geese were still hanging around because they could still find food. And there is an interesting fact about the geese counted during the survey. So most of our geese that we're counting on the midwinter survey in North Dakota are going to be geese breeding in um, Saskatchewan primarily. Uh, some of them uh, could be from northwest and northern North Dakota. And, and we do have some that come from the Missouri River corridor that breed uh, in western North Dakota and along the lake and river. But probably more than 90% of our geese that we count during the midwinter survey are going to be migrant birds. This is Mike Anderson in the North Dakota Outdoors.